Hey, happy Monday, friends. Diana here. This is the Monday morning question where every Monday I go live uh, to ask you a thought provoking question that will help guide you through the week. And yes, I know I am really early this morning, right? I usually go live about 9, 930. This morning, I'm off to hit the road uh, to go and help a client do some strategic planning with her team. And so I sort of thought as I was getting ready here this morning, I was thinking about this strategic planning. And I was thinking about how most of you are probably getting ready. Uh, the year end is coming and you're probably starting to think about how can you do strategic planning for your business? And, you know, one of the things that really, really, really came to the forefront has come to the forefront, not only with me, but with my clients is that, are you giving money the clarity that it needs? That's the question for today. But I'd love for you to think about this as you go forward with your strategic planning. Are you giving money the clarity that it needs? And, you know, I'm going to give you an example and I'd love for those of you who are watching hashtag live hashtag replay, uh, you know, in the comments below. So a few years ago, uh, after we moved here, I hated the kitchen that was in this house and I hated it. It was dark brown. The appliances were black. And so finally one day I said, you know what, I'm going to earn enough money in my business to put in a new kitchen. New kitchens aren't cheap, right? And so, you know what? When I <clears throat> gave money the clarity there that I wanted a new kitchen, and then we priced out the kitchen and we knew how much the kitchen was going to be, how much the new appliances, the new countertop, et cetera, I knew that that's what I had to earn in my business to pay for that. So are you giving money the clarity that it needs? Are you, when you're doing your planning, are you tying your goals to something that you truly in your heart want? And do you know exactly how much that is? Because I often work with you know, I'll say coaches and consultants who will say, you know, I want to make more money. Well, how much more money? And what do you want to do with that money? Or they say, you know, I want enough money to, I don't know, send my kids to private school. Well, how much is that private school? Do you know the exact amount? And when you start knowing the exact amount and, you know, putting it out there and creating your plan around it, you are going to get, you're going to give money that clarity. You're going to work towards that specific goal. And that specific goal isn't just some random goal that you set. It is a heartfelt. It is a soul-based goal. So in, um, you know, a couple of weeks, you're going to hear me start talking more about setting these heartfelt goals uh, because I know that so many of you are getting ready to do some planning, or if you're not, then maybe you should be. Um, but in the past, I'll, I'll, I'll be quite honest, I have been very strategic in the way I have taught goal setting, the way I have taught planning. And this year, we're going to add a new element to that, and it is about setting these heartfelt uh, the soul-based goals. So your Monday morning question is, are you giving money the clarity that it needs so that you can actually attract that amount of money? Thanks so much for listening this morning. Uh, it's great chatting with you every morning. And I'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's in the comments below or whether uh, you use this new little app that I have called SpeakPipe where you can leave me a voice message. Nothing like getting voice messages from people. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, I would just love to hear it. So have an amazing week. The sun is shining here. It looks like it's going to be a glorious day. And I can't wait to see what you accomplish this week. Take care. Bye for now.